and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some revitalizing Ledros to finish out our rank up Sunday stream. So this one's going to be a control deck with a combo finish. We're going to start by, like, so we're going to be a Freljord Shadow Isles control. We're going to have a couple of early blockers out there to slow our opponents down with Hapless Aristocrat and Averroes and Sentry. And then we're going to have some uh, Deezer removal with Unspeakable Horror and a Vile Fee, some good cheap removal. Uh, but then the mid game is where we're really going to be taking off. We got some ramp cards. We got a couple Weirding Stones and some Catalyst of Aeons. We got Sweepers with Avalanche and Withering Whale. Um, in the mid game, we have Babbling Bjerg, which is going to be an important card. Um, Trundle, obviously just a, a really great champion and a great way to slow the game down. And then getting to our top end. So our, our combo is going to be, we need, we need Commander Ledros, right? So that's going to be part of our combo. Commander Ledros is just going to be our way to finish the game super fast. And that's why we're playing all these Babbling Bjergs, so that uh, we can draw Commander Ledros. The only card, the only unit in our deck with 5 plus power, because Trundle is not one, is Commander Ledros. So Bjerg will be drawing us Ledros. And then we're going to want Revitalizing Roar. So once we get to like 10 mana, uh, we can have Revitalizing Roar reduce the cost of Ledros to zero. So we can play it at zero. And then we can also have Atrocity. So if it is turn 10, and we have our three spell mana and our uh, 10 regular mana, so we have 13 total, we can cast Revitalizing Roar and Atrocity in the same turn. So you know, maybe they play something and they don't, they don't have like the interaction. We can spend seven mana on Revitalizing Roar, get Ledros into play, um, cast Ledros for zero, um, and then of course do half of their Nexus damage, uh, which, you know, as long as they're at 19, you know, then uh, that's all they gotta do is just be at 19. Then we do nine to them with this, um, or I guess 10 to them, because yeah, 19, half of, half of uh, 19 rounded up is 10. So that'll put them down to nine, and then we can Atrocity. So the only way for somebody to stay alive through this Ledros Atrocity uh, combo is to be at exactly 20. That's the only way. Um, so we just got to be able to do one damage to them, and that's what our Hapless Aristocrat, Avaros, and Sentry, these can get one damage across, or um, Unspeakable Horror can do one damage to the enemy Nexus as well. All right, but let's try this, this Control Combo deck out. We're heading on over to Ranked. We're going to play our five games. Hopefully get a 3-2 or better record so far. Um, it's been a 3-2 day. Been a 60% win rate day. That's always good. If we just go 3-2 every deck, we'll take that. So first game back against Auto Filled. Playing Misfortune Gangplank. We're going to need early removal. I kind of like Weirding Stones. Weirding Stones on turn three to be a blocker. We'll try that out. I have my orders. Everything's okay, in place. so we'll have Sentry on two. Weirding Stones not so good against Misfortune, if that's what they have, but neither is Avaroth and Sentry or basically anything I have. Nothing escapes my watch. All right, Avalanche can be pretty good. In Avarosa's name! Moving into sight. Taking the block. The, the only reason to block there is like that you're expecting Avalanche, probably, right? Seems about the only reason, but. Alright, so we'll trade Petty Officer for Avalanche. Take that trade. I'm not sure if Weirding Stones is better to play than Babbling Bjerg, to be honest. Wow. Their hand must not be that good. There's plenty of killing there. Oh, maybe it is. The dead don't need riches. All right, get a Ledros out of our deck. Aren't any gods here? Just me. Lock the doors. But we 
are not quite towards um, making Ledros cost zero, but again, we don't need Ledros to cost zero. My complete. I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. It's a good time to do it. If both of our Weirding Stones survive, we will have nine mana next turn, so we will be able to play Ledros. If they don't break, they'll burn. Remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. So much Nexus damage, but we got a bunch of healing. Okay. So we'll have you block here, you block here, and you block here. We take four. That's if I want to play Ledros. Maybe I just don't play Ledros. Puts us back to 20. Gonna drain their life total for one to put them down to 19. Ooh, that'd be cool. Neither the flames nor the deaths could claim me, Captain. I like that we're still at 20. Even though they've dealt <laughs> millions of Nexus damage. Alright, so now it's Ledros time. Lock the doors! So I think the atrocity should be able to kill them. I don't think there's too much they could have to stop it. They would have to have like double noxion fervor. I don't know, I'd have pill cascade. They've done so much Nexus damage to me, it's crazy. You wanted wrath. Hang them by their entrails. You should have left well enough alone. And then that's all I did was just direct Nexus damage, you know, I didn't do any attacking. I wonder how much direct Nexus damage was dealt in that game from the two sides. 50? 60? Um, rematch. Uh-oh. Our hand was pretty awesome last time. It was pretty perfect. Don't know if it'll be that good again. Do I want to keep Vengeance? Um... <laughs> Keep Vengeance against Gangplank and Jack the Winner. Maybe I should be. Yeah, Atrocity is big yuck. So playing that now so we can get to Trundle next turn. Which is definitely important since the trolls are going to war. Gotta have our own troll. There's plenty of is Trundle king of the trolls? Is that a thing? Is there a king?
Looks like the troll champion at the very least. For the Empire. He is King of the Trolls? Okay. Make the Empire proud. Yeah, I thought I remembered hearing something like that. Well, I can't just pass priority. Jack the Winner is going to be real good. My complete. Looking for trouble? It found you. I don't know if this is a very good withering whale. Good make it rain. That's the perfect make it rain. Stow the Russians, shackle the princes. But we drew another hapless Stow aristocrat. That was a good draw. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Please, I have connections. Yeah, definitely take getting Jack the Winner out of here. That is worth it for sure. That's absolutely worth it. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Why is Misfortune not vulnerable? It's a champion. They both cost three, they're both three twos. And Misfortune's a hurt three two. That's a healthy three two. These are Oh, is it just left to right at that point? If they have the same mana cost, same power, same health, it's just left to right? Get him, Pillar. There's more Nexus healing. Okay, that's Nexus healing, I suppose. not great thank you so much for that twitch prime sub captive i really appreciate that you are amazing thank you so much I'm gonna make a <laughs> One troll to rule them all. oh right because that's that's why trundle says it's good to be the king because he's king of the trolls that makes the sense Save that two damage. Okay. Not bad. That's kind of what I needed. One smack will do. I guess we didn't really need that. 
let's see. Does this work? Awesome. There we go. Trundle atrocity. Just, just who can do the most nexus damage the fastest? Okay, different matchup. Complete end of other end of the spectrum. We'll see if we can combo them out with atrocity. I want to play hapless aristocrat. Like, do I even want to cast this card? So, like, I can play I can play Hapless Aristocrat on turn one and still have Catalyst on turn three. But do I even want Hapless Aristocrat? Like, it's it's a one one. I kind of think no. Sentry blocks, draws a card. Is that even important? Maybe not either. I don't know. I don't know about this. All right, you know what? We'll keep the Hapless Aristocrat. We'll try it. I like that. I like drawing more ramp spells. That egg. Did it move? Atrocity is definitely really important for us to draw. Uh, Mulligan the Ledros. We do need Ledros, but we have a lot of ways to find Ledros. We have five Ledroses in the deck. Okay, so is it better to go... So I go Weirding Stones, then we have five, six, seven play this we just have the five I think it's better to go weirding stones aha got that extra point of damage by not attacking right away if I attack right away then they heal three then I don't get that bonus King of Trolls coming through. these are trolls I'm not sure exactly what punishes me for attacking, like, I don't know, Pale Cascade. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to play my double ramp cards. Double ramp will give me nine mana next turn, so we'll have Ledros next turn. Really don't want to see Hush from them with my Ledros, but I do have the ability to get another Ledros. That's fine. I'd rather them use that Sunburst there than on the Ledros. The trolls are going to war! Ready when you are. Always ready. Allows them to tack into my Ice Pillar. So now I can open attack and the atrocities are best draw. We find atrocity. Oh, that one's not. I don't get to challenge the 4 3. I want to challenge the 4 3 because so we don't get to do that. They can block with the 4 3. Try to kill this trundle before it levels up. three draws were, have all been, I mean, our last, have these been the last four draws we've drawn? Like, these, none of these cards matter. We don't need Hapless Aristocrat. We don't need Avalanche. We don't need Vile Feast. That's what I, I probably should just mulligan this other Hapless Aristocrat. Um, 
you know, dealt one point of damage. Kind of did its thing in that respect. So anyway, I like putting that Ledros back into my hand before it got hushed or anything. You know, it was going to be stopped by this oh, Infinite no. Mind Splitter, of course. Now we hunt. This is going to be fun. So they have three. So one, two, so one additional card in hand. Wait for my Nexus to take any damage before playing Vile Feast and... Withering Whale with me at 20. That's why I didn't really use it for the scavenger. So we were at 20. Of course, need to be worried about Nexus healing. We should have a decent amount of Nexus healing. Every step brings me closer to deliverance. I can't let them take out both Ledros with a hush. So they're going up to, to six mana now. Okay, well, let's try it. Hopefully, hopefully. It's not going to help, but that's going to draw them a card. Hush isn't going to work. Thank you. All right. Found the atrocity. Ledros plus atrocity. G -g -g. So. Got it. So that latch, last ditch effort with that hush. Well, Sam looks pretty good. So I will keep it. Um, I think this is another burn deck. You know, like, Neverglade Collector Burn. We'll have turn four Trundle. Um, and then, what, turn five, go, like, Battling Bjerg, draw, draw Ledros. So we can Revitalizing Roar the Ledros. Hopefully not dead by then. not dead by then. Down to five. So maybe I need to play the babbling Bjerg right now. It was right on my tail. Drawing lead dress right now. So I can play let I can play I can play Roar plus Sentry. I think that's the plan. I need to make sure I don't just die to some some burn. My bite, my 
can see the Devastian border from here. Gonna need that nine life. Two mana short from being able to play Ruination next turn, unfortunately. Ouch. Every betrayal sharpens our resolve. That hurts. Lock the doors. Okay. Gained a little bit of life. Look out for reavers. Give me to six. I want to play this unspeakable horror. My complete. So I'm not going to get any extra mana this next turn, right? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I'll still be yeah. So I'll still so I'll have nine next turn. I should just gain the one for turn. Lose one for not having the weirding stones in play, but gain one for having. Other card in play. This is a big problem with the drain one now. Oh no no no! We're down to eight. We're down to eight mana. I, was, I thought we were gonna have nine. Well, I guess it's eight. Well, that's a problem. I was planning on going Ledros and then and then during their attack turn atrocity. Now I can't do that. I kind of can't do anything. Uh, wish I didn't play that last um, unspeakable horror now, because then at least we could have ruination. I don't really have any options, do I? Yeah, I don't really have any options. Nice to meet you. Ah! I can just play one unit, and that's it. Can't do anything else. Lovely day for a battle. <laughs> so playing. I just burn that. Playing that unspeakable horror really cost me. Fighting's a bloody business. Um, even if I didn't, though, I don't think I was winning. I think I needed to mulligan more. Looking for sweepers and removal, like avalanche, that kind of stuff. I don't know. This is. I promised a bloodbath. They had a good hand. I didn't. Yep. Need to play Chonda on four. Sentry doesn't matter either. This is another matchup where we just want ramp. We need our ramp cards. None of these. Like, we need Atrocity. Vengeance is cool. Hapless Aristocrat doesn't matter. But I guess we play it. Very good. That's a ramp card. I like that we're playing the two Weirding Stones instead of just relying on Catalyst of Aeons. The two Weirding Stones have been very good for us. I like that we have those. <laughs> yeah, that's true. At worst, at worst, we're going 3-2 again and, and just having the full 3-2 day at worst. We can have that good synergy going. Alright, Babbling Bjerg, Ledros, Trundle. No, they have their Babbling Bjerg. Not cool. Yeah, definitely a good day. We'll take... Hey, there's our Babbling Bjerg. We'll take uh, three and two records across the board all the time, for sure. Win 60% of your games. You are definitely doing something right. But tall is a mountain and covered in ice. So they can set Juani if that was the card they drew with Battling Bjerg. They can set Juani now. Getting greedy, hoping it's not set Juani somehow, or they don't set Juani. Yay! Got him. 
Believe me! I must get out of here! Hmm. Oh, the doors! Alright. Heed my words! We got our one point of damage in. Uh, Babbling Beer draw our other Ledro, so we don't have to worry about drawing Ledros. We don't really want that to happen. Eyes blazing brightest torches. I'm expecting another avalanche. Ew. So they're now a mana ahead. I'm worried about playing Trundle and then Sejuani, but I don't know if I'm so. Maybe I don't need to be worried about Sejuani. So they're doing the same thing that I'm doing. Yep, it's just a Ledros race, it looks like. Good old fashioned Ledros race. So. So I need a vengeance right here. I have to because otherwise, if I if I wait till next turn and I go revitalizing roar on my Ledros, then they can um, atrocity theirs in response. I don't want that to be able to happen. Oh, I should I should have just attacked first. Right. Yeah, I should have attacked first. I, I really should have attacked first. Now they can block and have Vile Feast or something like that. Ooh. They did not. That could be game. Because, yeah, so now they could, they could block one and then have Unspeakable Horror or Vile Feast for the other. Or if I would have done... If I would have attacked with both right away, they couldn't have done that. Awesome. They could have still just killed me there if they would have had the Vile Feast or Unspeakable Horror. Then they would have gone back up to 10, gone to 1 life. I would not have killed them. I did not have a blocker for their uh, Ledros anymore. All right, so our revitalizing Ledros deck did pretty well. We went four and one, broke our three-two streak for for the good with a four-one. Um, really powerful combination here with uh, Atrocity and a Ledros. Definitely felt like a a very powerful combination. Um, just burning people out. <laughs> That's really all all you're doing with this deck. Nothing too fancy. It, you know, it's a control combo deck, but it still wins pretty quickly. Just try to get that board stabilized. Um, Hapless Aristocrat was okay. You know, it, it helped out against, um, it helped out against like the, the aggro decks they were facing would have been good um, in, in our one loss. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, just gotta, just gotta do that revitalizing roar, Ledros, Atrocity. Just gotta have that combo. Um yeah, I, I like three revi revitalizing roar, definitely. I'm yeah. 
I like having three of those. Um, and yeah, I did. I know I saw that you were playing Sejuani, Johnny. Sejuani is just another card you grab from Battling Bjerg. We were just going just real combo, you know, just all combo of no no Sejuani or not, nothing else to grab. Make sure that we always grab Ledros with the Bjerg. And I was really happy with that. I don't think I really needed Sejuani in those games. Maybe our one loss that we had, Sejuani, would have been good against that Kalista deck. Uh, we did not play Ruination, I don't think. No, we we didn't play Ruination in any of those games. I, I needed to fire... The the one loss I just need... I didn't sequence very well. I need to play Trundle on four, and then probably, yeah, probably need to... And then that would have helped stabilize the board, and then probably need to fire off Ruination in that matchup and stuff, too. So, like, probably needed the Ruination in that matchup that I lost. Yeah, donation decks are $10 or 10,000 channel points. Yep, so if you're... I like to reward the people that are here all the time watching. So if you're, you know, if you're here watching, you get ten thousand of the, the channel points. Um, then I'll I'll play your deck there, or just or a ten dollar donation. Either one. Thanks, Core Deck. Um, let's see. All right, but that's it here for revitalizing Ledros combo. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, you know, any anything about uh, what do you want to see changed? In the patch update on Tuesday, what are you planning to, to rank up? You know, any anything about any of these decks, anything like that, I appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.